came through. Everything we've done has been right. Nexusing in with the police and then with the clergy response teams. And then we have the newscast there where they admit the clergy response teams are training for people to stand down under martial law. Remember those clips yesterday we never actually played, guys? Uh, one was the clergy response teams, martial law, and then the other was here in Austin. Okay, play the Highland Mall one and then pull up the one you had yesterday uh, that we didn't get to. So the clergy well, will be there to placate recording. people, correct? we got a FEMA yes. RV thing right over here. I don't think that's a pig, dude. I think it's a security guard. Yeah, but why is a FEMA RV parked Park in front of the mall? In front of the mall? In front of the closed part of the mall. That's real weird. Dude, look, it says Department of Homeland Security. It's the Security. Department of Homeland Security parked in front of the mall? In front of that closed part, though. Okay, that's the first go video. Go to the next video and, and, and show me the title of these so I can plug them. FEMA Homeland Security, Secret Ops in Highland Mall, Austin, Texas. Okay, now this is them talking to the police. Uh, and, um, I mean, it's right here, guys. You guys are typing it in. It's the video right to the right of it right there. See, right there to the right. That's the video right there. Yeah, there you go. I just want to know. I want to know what y'all are doing here. Step outside. Will you tell me what's going on? I will be more than happy as soon as you step outside. Sure. Is there a reason you're doing that? Uh, no, just, we just saw the FEMA, FEMA cam and I thought y'all were part of the. Is there some sort of emergency or what's going on? Been shut down. Or not the mall. The store had already been shut down. But is there some reason why FEMA's here? In case I kids. Dude, you're just a security guard. Just I, I'm yeah. a security guard. Don't yeah, we, we're. I'm sorry. We're part of a, a, an organization that is just making sure everybody understands what's See going on. See how secretive and angry they're, they're asking. But, but the point watch. is, I went over there and they told me get away. I was inside them all these wires and TV sets running in, and they had other events with kids in front of big screens being thumbprinted and face scanned to go in a database for their safety. But it's still there, and, and they're building them. But, I mean, here they are admitting they're building them for the American people, not just for emergencies. So what was this, like a beta test for? I don't understand what they were doing. They just use any excuse they can to come over and take over spaces. And they're putting little mini FEMA centers just all over the nation. They're building little FEMA camps for emergencies everywhere, and they have little stockades. You've seen my police state films. Right. Um, yeah, here's the local uh, newscast uh, piece. For folks that are out there listening, it was just the audience. Law ever become a reality in America? Some fear any nuclear, biological, or chemical attack on U.S. territory might trigger just that. And as KSLA News 12 Jeff Farrell discovered, the clergy would help the government with potentially their biggest problem, us. From my cold, dead hands. Charlton has to. Did you hear that? Their biggest problem, us. That's what the Army says, engaging the American people. And they say, it's of the Lord, Romans 13, we're prepared. And you read the actual FEMA documents, forced inoculations, gun confiscation, it's all in there. This famous declaration captures a truly American value, the overarching desire to protect our freedoms. But gun confiscation is exactly what happened during the state of emergency following Hurricane Katrina in New Orleans. U.S. troops also arrived, something far easier to do even now, thanks to last year's elimination of the 1878 Posse Comitatus Act. That forbid U.S. troops from policing on American soil. If martial law were enacted here at home, like depicted in the movie The Siege, easing public fears and quelling dissent would be critical. And that's exactly what the clergy response team, as it's called, helped accomplish in New Orleans. Uh, Jeff, the primary thing that we say to anybody is let's cooperate and get this thing over with, and then we'll settle the differences once the crisis is over. Such clergy response teams would walk a tightrope between the needs of the government versus the wishes of the public. In a lot of cases, these clergy would already be known in the neighborhoods in which they're helping to defuse that situation. I had him on. For the clergy, one of the biggest tools that they will have in helping calm the public down or obey the law is the Bible itself, specifically. Now, what is the law? There's no constitution, no Bill of Rights, you're going to a FEMA camp, we're taking your guns. And then the cop, and the, and the preachers are like, we help deal with it here in Katrina. So, I mean, you know, they did it. And, and remember, this didn't exist when we broke this a year and a half before this. We have the secret documents. Ten times worse than this. Well, the newscast is misleading. She said that the Posse Comitatus Act is, was been repealed. 
or no longer in effect. That's not true. Well, they blew holes in it. You could drive right. a Death but, Star through. But it has not officially been uh, repealed. They just enacted through uh, executive orders. Fiat. Fiat, right. Through fiat. They That's freedom. It's freedom. You know, I had that big lawyer on yesterday, and he said, yes, arguing with police is a terrorist act now, punishable by 20 years in prison. That's in the Patriot Act. Just, just talking is now. I mean, did they? And he's an attorney. Well, that's America. Tell and keep you safe. Ugh. I mean, it's it's disgusting. Hey, cops, you think a corrupt system like this is going to let you have your pension funds? This is the, this is the world you want your children living in. I guess I do to fight Al Qaeda. And then overnight they swing the whole thing on the whole apparatus against the people. Romans, Romans thirteen. Oh, because the government's established by the Lord. You know, and, oh. uh, and that's what we believe in the Christian faith. That's what's stated in the scripture. Civil rights advocates believe the amount of public cooperation may depend largely on how long they expect a suspension of their rights might last. Jeff Farrell, KSLA News 12 reporting. According to Tuberville, during Hurricane Katrina, the clergy response team provided 38 chaplains a day around the clock at eight different camps. Oh, eight different camps, Kurt. Once again, misleading. She, he said... Uh, what, uh, how, depending on how long it lasts. Well, tyranny lasts forever. It doesn't get... Well, that's what they're saying. Just let us do what we want now, and then things will be okay later. That isn't how it works. It's not how it works. Historically, it's not how it works. Well, Hitler used the clergy. Stalin did. So did Mao. There was approved churches. It was just ones that weren't approved they went after. And... <laughs> Romans 13 doesn't say that. I mean, I guess Hitler was good then. Stalin, Mao, we shouldn't have fought King George III. Right. Well, you have to you have to read that, that scripture in, in the context of the rest of the Bible. I mean, it's just they take it out, stick it out there and say this is, the, you know, the government is of the Lord. And whatever the government does is kosher. It's not, it's not true. All governments are of the Lord. I mean, Christ, what did he do? He, he fought against the, the established order in Palestine, you know, so. What did all the other disciples do? Most of them got killed. Right. They, they were, were all crucified. In, they were in prison. I mean, because well, right. they did what they said. I mean, can you imagine uh, uh, the Apostle Paul running around with the clergy response teams going, do what the Romans say, you know, uh, 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 you know worship whatever, they, you know, go to the FEMA camps or, or any of them. Right, right. Well, I mean, once again, it just shows they can get away with this because people are ignorant. They do not know history. They do not even know the Bible, per se. They... Just buy this, and these local, and they look to, towards television to give them the news, and they believe whatever well, they whatever's told on television. There's at least twenty six thousand of these preachers. They're under secret contract to brainwash you beforehand and then after. And I'm telling you, folks, if your preacher's going Romans thirteen of the Lord, firearms are not good. Go to emergency centers when it's needed. We've got all these TV preachers saying it after this happened. Yeah, I mean they're they're reading a script. In fact, people have done videos of preacher after preacher saying the same thing. That crisis is coming. Do what the government says. You may have to go to emergency centers. Uh, I mean, how creepy is this, Kurt? This is like a nightmare science fiction novel about some dystopia takeover of America. It's George Orwell in slow motion, leading up to total tyranny. Kurt, why don't you just support Homeland Security and let let the foreign bankers take over and turn your guns in, Kurt? <laughs> well, I mean, come on, the government wants to help you. They're not run by Madoffs. They're run by good people that are that are want to help you. Right. So the Lord, that's what the scripture teaches. Why don't you repent and worship government? <laughs> Kneel down right now before before Obama. Messiah Look, Obama. It's of the Lord. <laughs> Kurt, we're worried about your soul right now. It's unbelievable. But people buy this. Kurt, you need to turn your children over to the government. In the FEMA training manuals, the preachers are there to go, ma'am, let them take your child now. Now, ma'am, the Lord says, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold for your IRA? The financial industry refuses to recognize the value of real hard assets for your retirement. The truth be told, gold and silver has outperformed paper investments like stocks, bonds, and CDs, yet no word about IRAs. Perhaps the financial institutions want to maintain control of your assets by keeping you in paper. If you'd like to take a look at gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. 
Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low return on your paper investments. Call 800-686-2237. Make sure that you secure your future. Call 800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. 